Hi, my name is Reginald Harris. I'm IT director at Poets House, the poetry library in New York City. And I've chosen Lucy by Jamaica Kincaid. I'm a big fan of Kincaid's work, uh, all of her novels. And um, I love both her use of language and how she talks about the beauty and terror of family, how you love it and you don't want to get out of it at the same time. Um, and so this is uh, a passage from, from Lucy. My friendship with Peggy was reaching a predictable stalemate. The small differences between us were beginning to loom, sometimes becoming the only thing that mattered, like a grain of sand in the eye. She did not like to read books of any kind. She did not like to go to the museum. Going to the museum had become a passion with me. I did not grow up in a place where there was such a thing, but as soon as I discovered it, that was the only place I liked going out to visit. It was Mariah who had taken me there. She wanted me to see some paintings by a man, a French man, who had gone halfway across the world to live and had painted pictures of the people he found living there. He had been a banker living in a comfortable life with his wife and children, but that did not make him happy. Eventually, he left them and went to the opposite part of the world where he was happier. I don't know if Mariah meant me to, but immediately identified, I identified with the yearnings of this man. I understood finding the place you were born in an unbearable prison and wanting something completely different from what you are familiar with, knowing it represents a haven. I wondered about the details of his despair, for I felt it would comfort me to know. Of course, his life could be found in the pages of a book. I just begun to notice that the lives of men always are. He was shown to be a man rebelling against an established order he had found corrupt. And even though he was doomed to defeat, he died an early death. He had the perfume of a hero about him. I was not a man. I was a young woman from the fringes of the world. And when I left my home, I had wrapped around my shoulders the mantle of a servant. I was having a thought not unlike this when, unexpectedly, Mariah came up to me. The look on my face must have shocked her, for she said, you are a very angry person, aren't you? And her voice was filled with alarm and pity. Perhaps I should have said something reassuring. Perhaps I should have denied it. But I did not. I said, of course I am. What do you expect? <laughs>